Hair growth and green tea. Is there a baldness cure? What are studies on green tea and hair loss saying about EGCG's ability to treat hair loss, baldness, psoriasis, dandruff, and its effectiveness as a hair conditioner? Since gentlemen stopped wearing wigs in the 18th century, hair loss has been the bane of middle-aged men, and some women. Many solutions have been tried, including minoxidil, toupees that flap in the wind, surgery, and, of course, the comb-over. The majority of these methods, have had limited success, and have become common fodder for late-night talk show hosts. Is there a more efficient way? In this video, we will feature that green tea, has been promoted as a potential cure, for people looking for a natural way, to combat hair loss. Is this even possible? Green tea is not a cure as of yet, but there is increasing clinical evidence that it may help. The majority of previous research has concentrated on epigallocatechin 3 gallate, or EGCG which is by far the most important antioxidant found in green tea. Study number one on green tea and hair. What exactly is the mechanism? Green tea inhibits the production of tumor necrosis factor alpha, according to a paper published by scientists at the Saitama Cancer Center, Research Institute in Japan, which is TNF-alpha. TNF-alpha has been linked to cancer as well as other inflammatory diseases, like rheumatoid arthritis, as well as androgenetic hair loss, or baldness. They discovered that drinking a lot of green tea, increases the amount of sex hormone, binding globulin, SHBG, in the bloodstream. SHBG binds to testosterone, and prevents it from being converted to dihydrotestosterone, DHT. DHT is a hormone that promotes hair growth during adolescence. However, the American Medical Association reports, that some men and women have hair follicles, that are genetically programmed, to react negatively to DHT later in life. As a result, lowering the amount of DHT in the bloodstream, may aid in the protection of hair follicles, in people who have DHT-induced baldness. Study number 2 on green tea and hair. Encourage human hair growth. A study conducted in 2007, by the Seoul National University College of Medicine, looked at the effect of EGCG, on hair follicles and dermal papilla cells, a type of cell found in human hair follicles, that controls hair growth and plays a role in male pattern baldness. EGCG was tested on hair follicles cultured in a lab dermal papilla cells cultured in a lab, and actual human scalps by the Korean researchers. What were the findings of this green tea and hair research? Cultures treated with EGCG showed increased hair follicle elongation, increased hair growth, and stronger proliferation of dermal papilla cells, when compared to control cultures. The researchers also discovered specific chemical changes, that promoted hair growth in EGCG treated samples. What about those who received ECGC treatment? The following is how green tea alcohol tincture was administered to human volunteers. For 4 days, 10% EGCG in ethanol, or ethanol vehicle was applied daily to two regions, of the occipital scalp of three normal human volunteers and then treated areas measuring 1 by 1.5 cm were excised. Tissue samples containing hair follicles, were dissected into single hair follicles with care. Under a stereo microscope, dermal papillae were selectively separated, and isolated into single cells, for western blot analysis. According to the researchers, it was confirmed, that the events initially observed in vitro, actually occurred in vivo, which means, that the same chemical changes occurred in human scalps, treated with 10% ECGC dissolved in ethanol. They reached the following conclusion. In conclusion, 
our findings suggest that EGCG promotes human hair growth via proliferative and anti-apoptotic effects on DPCs, and that it may prolong the antigen stage. The effects of EGCG on different hair follicle cell types, as well as the molecular basis for its hair growth promotion, are still unknown, and require further research. Study number 3 Green Tea and Hair Study Can you cure rat baldness? Rats were used as models in another 2005 study, conducted by the Charles R. Drew, University of Medicine and Science in Los Angeles. 60 female rats with the rat equivalent of baldness, were split into two groups. One group received only pure water to drink. The other group was given water laced with a polyphenol extract, derived from green tea. 33% of the mice who drank the polyphenol laced water, had some hair regrowth. None of the mice who were only given water experienced hair regrowth. Study number 4 Green Tea and Hair Study Is it effective for psoriasis and dandruff? Recent green tea and hair research indicates, that green tea is also beneficial to the scalp. Green tea has shown promise, in treating both psoriasis and its more common cousin, dandruff, according to a 2007 study conducted by Drive Stephen Su, of the Medical College of Georgia. Psoriasis is caused by uncontrollable skin growth. Scaly skin and lesions result, from the formation of new skin layers, before the old layers are ready to shed. Green tea appears to normalize the skin cell growth cycle, by regulating caspis 14, a protein that tells skin cells, when to multiply and when to die off. Green tea has also been shown to be anti-inflammatory, and soothing to the skin. If you have dandruff, try a green tea shampoo or even a daily green tea rinse instead of a dandruff shampoo. Normal dandruff shampoos, contain trace amounts of carcinogenic substances. If green tea can get rid of your dandruff, without exposing you to these chemicals, it's a much better long-term solution. Green Tea and Hair, A Cure for Dandruff and Psoriasis More Green Tea Hair Advantages Conditioner for her Hair If you are not concerned about baldness, you should be aware that green tea has other benefits for your hair. Green tea, for example, is a good source of panthenol, according to an article titled Hair Care Joins Beauty's Tea Party, published in the October 15, 1999 edition, of Women's Wear Daily. Panthenol, also known as Pro-Vitamin B, has long been used as a hair conditioner. It softens and strengthens hair while preventing split ends. Green tea also contains antioxidants, and vitamin C and E, which are beneficial to your hair. Topical application versus drinking. Also, keep in mind that the experiments included both ingesting green tea, and applying EGCG directly to the scalp. If you're experimenting with green tea for hair loss, it's a good idea to incorporate it into your daily routine as a beverage, as well as to use hair products containing real green tea extract, or ECGC. Green tea tincture, is the closest equivalent to the EGCG or ethanol mixture, used topically in the experiment on human scalps, according to 2007 study conducted by the Seoul National University College of Medicine. You can buy it commercially, or make your own, by soaking 3 parts green tea Indiana 4 parts vodka or other clear, high proof alcohol for a couple of weeks. The liquid should then be strained and stored in a dark glass bottle. Conclusion What are the implications of all of this research? Can green tea help people grow their hair? Very likely, but more research is needed to confirm it and determine the best doses, and delivery methods. Furthermore, some studies have shown that green tea, increases the amount of testosterone and DHT in the bloodstream, 
implying that green tea may worsen rather than help baldness. Green tea and baldness, is it a cause or a cure? The important thing to remember, is that green tea has not been proven to cause or cure baldness in either animals or humans, but emerging evidence is promising. If you want to try green tea as a hair loss treatment, go ahead, but just don't expect a miracle. And that is it, thank you for watching Mamidi TV, please hit the like button and subscribe. See you in the next video.